And welcome to the first session of our Tradara and Strike Team campaign. On the war average world of Tradara, the Republic of Tarkon's military juggernaut continues to try to crush all resistance to the glorious nation. Permanently starved of resources for their war effort, like all factions on Tradara, and stable portals to other worlds appear within their dominion, they must act swiftly and decisively to seize and exploit whatever resources lay beyond. When a portal to a jungle infested swamp world is found, military operations initiated to form a beachhead and assess the world beyond. Strike Team Burbs, named after their avian obsessed Sergeant Raven, are one of the first Tarkons sent through to survey if this new territory has any dark stone to recover. We join Raven, Sparky, Simon and Jonas as they head into the Valley of the Serpent Kings within the swamps of Jagano. Okay, so on to mission, our first mission of the Giant Strike Team. Uh, we've chosen Jagano, so that's our, as our primary world, so that's where we're going to start. We just there, uh, I will read, I guess, the start information for Jagano. If people want to put themselves on in initiative order. Oh, there you go, the sergeant's gone there first. Um, but I have first initiative. Yeah, you let, um, let the person with the first initiative. No. Let the person with the first initiative choose where they want to go. Where can I go? Uh, and you first eight, the first two rows, basically. There you go, you can go in there. Soft now, Or are you happy there? Um, it's because it's going to take me more guys to get to the front. Do you want to move forward? Uh, yeah, put, put me forward. I, I think when there's four of us, it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's a huge big deal. But there we go, that's that's our strike team. Have we got a name for our strike team? Our strike team, I think. Strike team... The Burbs. Strike team, The Burbs. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Darkstone Raid. So, uh, dispatched by Strategic Command, your elite Tradarian strike team has been given a mission of utmost importance to the war effort. In recent days, the war has not been going well. Bold actions required to gain a foothold in a new region to gather the resources needed to keep fighting and bring our enemies to their knees. So, uh, this new region is rich in Darkstone and other resources. They've been squandered by those who currently possess them. It is our duty to take what we need to survive and bring order back to our world and beyond. We will do what we must be done to secure victory. For the glory of your nation, we are brothers and sisters of fallen war. For Tradara, we fight. Yippee. So we start there on that, and we're going to try and find some dark stone. Uh, we do that by finding the clue tokens on the exploration markers, and we decide after the second clue whether we want to push on or not. Uh, if we push on, it basically gets a bit hard every time you reveal a clue. Let's just hope we don't run into something monstrous on the first room. Yeah. Let's hope it does not all go wrong. Yeah. Like, like maybe bars right. with guns. That's no, no. Like snake birds with guns. Snake birds with guns, otherwise known as Sataris Ravages. Hmm? Mm -hmm. they, but they're not on as well, are they? No. Uh, so, those. Hopefully. Right. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. I guess we're ready to start. So, we start. What do we do when we start with? What's the first thing we do in a turn? All about the darkness. All about the darkness. The first thing we do. Two dice to hold back the darkness. Let's uh, Three. No, we do not. No, no we, do. we do not. <laughs> yeah, that, one. that one there goes. Scoop that one. Oops. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think anyone's got any of the triggers on failing to hold back the darkness. Um, I need five strike, by the way. Oh, five strike? Yeah, I start with max. With max strike. How, how lucky for you. Five strike. Okay, so next in initiative order. Me first, so I'm going to roll to move. Oh. Two. There we go. Right, it's my go. What, what happens after I move? Nothing, right? Uh, you can scout, well, basically do exploration, which is you can scavenge if you wish, or explore a token. I think. There isn't I'm... room to explore, so. So, yeah. so I'm going to scavenge. How many dice do I have to do that? Too? Three dice, looking mm. for sixes. New for the sixes. Okay. So, yeah, next in initiative order. Me. Okay, so you roll a dice for Raven, please. Five. One, two, three, four, five. You, you can go three. Yeah. You can move diagonally, so you can move three there. To get three. There. Did you want to go five? Four, five. Okay, so you're going to look through that door, right? Yes. You? 
Okay. So I, I used to fan the deck out so you could choose one, but this deck is really big for Jagane. So I'm going to try it. going to grab a random card. Tribal Altar! Right away. Tribal Altar. Yeah, so those those uh, people who aren't using their Darkstone properly, the tribals, whatever tribe it may be. They're all dice. Uh, what are we going to get dice for? Doors. Oh, the doors. Um, we, no, we don't do that yet because you have to yeah. flip the expiration token first. But yes, I need to find the tribal altar. Be right back. Tribal altar is this one. Yep, tribal altar. And we come in there. That. So there it is. Tribal altar. And it has with it the bubble bar, the primitive altar encounter. Is that it? Don't know yet. Don't know what's it. But it does have an expiration token and we're using the adventures and expiration tokens. The adventures, I guess. But there we go, that's that. Uh you get 5 XP for looking through the door. Uh, is it me next? Yes, it's yeah. you next. So you roll dice for my move, please. Okay. Four. Four. I'll find scavenge, so three dice, please. Oh, uh, didn't you? What is it yours says? Uh, the at the start of each turn, choose a Tridaran hero to gain a strike mark. So start every turn, Raven gets to choose who gets a, gets a strike mark. Who got a strike marker from you? Um, can't choose Simon because yeah, Simon has no. Yeah, Simon's not. I choose Sparky. Sparky. Because okay. yeah, she's fine. the one who needs the moves. Yeah. Or you, because you can make enemies. Six. You actually scavenge. I actually scavenge, and this is a. Uh, I'll get the, I'll get the mm -hmm. normal scavenge deck because it's a normal world. Why you just Oh, I should, for the benefit of those watching along, say that this isn't just normal uh, Jagano. This is uh, the swamp of the oh, Valley of the Serpent King's Jagano. So I'm going to get an extra ten money off this. Extra. Yeah. Extra money. Extra money, no matter what, even if it is one of those boring nothing here. You're going to find a single 10 pound foot. Yeah. I'm going to get with this one for me. It's a small find. I find a small capping of points. So 25 from that, plus another 10 from the thing, and 10 XP as well. What's that red stuff? Four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's blood on my small find. I mean, we don't really care. No, not our blood. So, our blood's purple. Our blood's purple? Yeah, but Jorans, we're all purple. Well, I know our skin's purple. But, like, I didn't know our blood well, was also purple. I presume our blood's purple. Otherwise, how do you explain the purple colour? But yeah, okay. Good as anything. Our blood's red, and why uh, is, is our skin pink? Oh my Yep, so over to Simon. Can you roll dice for movement, please? Five. Oh. Okay, so I've just rolled terribly. I'm going to move there so we can still move through. Yep. And I'll scavenge. Yep, I think you can. Um, I've got two the scavenges last at the moment. Scavenging. I think. You have two scavenges. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we have two scavenges per room. I can just go and check, but as we roll for a scavenge, we've definitely got at least two. Yeah. Don't we have three? So three dice. Yeah. It's two dice full. Scavengers, we've had one successful. We've had one successful, yeah. Roll for scavengers? No. No, nope. doesn't matter any. Anyway, scavenging, three to four heroes, two scavenge. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I think mean, that's the end of the turn, isn't it? Yes. At the end of that first turn, we flip the expiration marker. Uh, do you want to flip it, Raven, seeing as it was you that found it? Yep. Can, what, you can you reach? You reach? Can you reach? There it. you go. It is a depth event and an encounter with only one door. Right, so I roll in. I'll see where the door is. One. So 
So the door is going that way. Yeah. So I need to get two end caps, and I need to find a depth event. Someone is going to have to roll. Do you sit for that depth event? Five. Five. <laughs> it's good that we roll the five. Well, we'll find out. Should I move this down? Um, no, I thought we were going left as the, as the, uh, the, the teacher. So that's what's up there. Okay, depth event. Number five in the garden. That's a bit nice. Depth event number five is tribal drums. In the distance, you hear the thundering war drums of a savage tribe getting louder and louder with every step you take. Each hero in Dragano will discard one grit or take d6 sanity damage, ignoring your power. Um. Bye, grit. Hmm, I'm going to take the sanity damage. Okay, I'm going to my grit. I also hit sanity damage on D Jonas first. Uh, Jonas, you took two. Two sanity damage over here. For me! I'm, I'm paying the grit. I'm paying the grit as well. Okay. I'm paying grit because we don't want to get hit. And I got four sanity damage. Probably I have 13. Four for you. And how many was it for you? Two. Mm -hmm. It was two. Mm -hmm. Two beans. Okay. Thank you very much. We add an encounter. So I want to choose the extra encounter again. Yeah. Okay. Poison dart. Right, we'll put that down. So we'll do so we'll do the primitive altar first. Primitive altar. Uh, a tribal looking altar rests here, cut into the half buried stone work of an ancient ruin. Fire still burn and with a foul smelling offering has been left us to sacrifice too. Who knows what? It might not be a good idea to stick around and see. So we can either ignore it and move on, or one of us makes a spirit five or more check, where if you're successful, something good happens, or if you're not, something bad happens. Okay, so Do we want to loot the altar? Does the amount of spirit you have matter? Yep, yeah, because that's how many dice you roll. Okay, so I've got one, Raven's got two, you've got two. two. How much I've got Simon? three. You want to Simon three. How, how lucky do you feel about your grit of getting three? So on three dice, getting five or more. I don't know I'm rolling the dice, but. Well, yeah, but I'm, I'm not, I am not going to try and loot that altar. I know that. I, I wouldn't advise it. Okay, okay. move on. I think it, nothing move happens move. if we don't do anything. Nothing happens if we do nothing. All right, we yeah, we're going to ignore the altar. Yeah. Even the altar, ignore that. The next one is Poison Dart. Passing a crumbling stone statue with a large open mouth full of fangs, probably where they put the sacrifice, uh, you feel a snap as your foot stretches and breaks a trip while a vine. Uh, a volley of dart erupts from the gaping maw. So all of us make agility four or more. Okay, I'll go first. And I have three agility, so I'll pay four for dice. I didn't do that. So what's going to happen is. You're going to basically roll the d8 and subtract your luck thing, mm -hmm. and you'll take that many poison markers, which can do damage to you every turn. Or you could grit to re-roll your three dice. I'm going to re-roll my three dice. Don't want to get poisoned by poison darts. Right. So you gain 10 XP. You grit. So the grit goes that way, and 10 XP comes back. Um, is that a fence roll? No. no. Okay. Yeah, that's wrong. So, uh, who wants to go next on that? <coughs> Raven, okay. So what's your agility? Uh, three. three. So three dice for Raven. We can get four more. Raven okay. is fine. 10 XP for Raven. Just I just jump over it. Like, oh, can I have my 10 XP? Don't yeah. me. 10 XP. Yeah. Okay, uh, should we do Simon then? I have two. So just two on your one. Fine. Yeah, so I get fine. Um, my agility is free as well. So let's see what I get. See, can I avoid this tripwire? No. No. But I have plenty of help, so I'm actually going to take that so I can keep my grit. I'm the only person with grit left. Uh, so could you roll me a d8? So I need my luck. Okay. One. One. Okay, my luck is two, so I take nothing anyway. Right. Do you get 10 XP as well? 
Uh, no. No. You only get you to get it. Pass. Pass, right. <laughs> so we've gone through the tribal altar. We, we, there was a primitive altar. We didn't do anything. We got poison darts, which basically did nothing. We dodged them all, just took them on our trench coat, I guess. Or, or, or they hit you and you realised it wasn't a potent poison, so. Yeah. I'm immune to that poison. I've taken a small amount of it every day of my life. <laughs> so that was the end of the first turn, I think. I don't think anything else has got to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> On entering the jungle, they discovered a crude altar, warning them that there were sentient natives to contend with, but they could be treated with indifference due to their primitive barbarism, even if their drumming in the distance made Sparky and Jonas nervous. Their rudimentary traps didn't so much as graze the Iron World terror troops as they pressed on. As disdainful of the natives as they were, pushing forwards through the fetid environment however began to press on them, perhaps the influence of the pervasive darkness threatening all. Crossing the sun-dappled clearings, it would soon come to pass they would traverse from one domain to another, and a meeting with the savages who claimed the new one was perhaps inevitable. So to start the next turn, so Raven, who's going to get the strike this time? Start the turn. Can't choose you. Sparky again. Say, does it say other? Does it? I don't think it says other, but anyway, Sparky's getting it. Okay. So, Just hold back the darkness. How many dice? Two dice. Two dice. It's always two dice for all better dice, unless you've got a special message. Keep forgetting. Mm. Okay. Oh, you want now, moves on one. So we're oh, going to get you? a darkness card. Mm. I'm terrible. Um, so cancelling a darkness card, is that when we reveal them? Uh, yeah, I think so. Right. If you want, you don't have to do it. Um, I mean, again, likewise, because this is the, one of the base set. Giant. Giant stuff. Dark. <laughs> from this. I'm not going to try and fan this out for people. Um, yes, because what have you got ability? Your ability is... Yeah, it's once per adventure, cancel a growing dread or dark card. Yeah. yeah, we're dead if we yeah. get a bad one. Well, it depends which is. Some darknesses are bad, some darknesses are tolerable. Are tolerable. So, right, let's put the giant stack down there. Oh, wow. Try to say, I want one one further down. Open that one, are we? <coughs> oh. Draw a threat card that is one threat level higher than normal without looking at it, and place it by the top stage of the depth track. Okay. Next time the darkness marker moves onto a space in the top stage of the depth track, ambush attack, use this threat card. So yeah, that's Lurking in the Deep, is the name of that one, oh, which is a darkness and attack. So we're going to have a high level threat, we put it there, and if we ever get to there, um, so the Dutch moves into the Dutch, there will be an ambush attack with with that. Come on, team. Um, we don't really need to keep that. What we need to okay. keep is this. So we're not allowed to look uh, at it. Are we? Without looking, yeah. So no one wants to choose whatever threat is going to appear and ambush us later on. So this thing. Oh, this thing. It goes there. Okay. Well, that was our darkness card. Hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, I get it. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, well, that, that room's done. Oh, you should move one down on the uh, room status. And then, yeah, so. Initiatives. Right, mine. Let's see, mm. how far do I move? Five! Yes, I moved some right now. Okay, so. One, two, three. Can I get there? Yeah. Four, five. Five. Okay, there we go. Are you, so, are you going to scavenge that room? Uh, yeah, I'll scavenge. I don't know what could be useful in it except mm. stanky fruits or rushing flesh. I don't know. rotting flesh cancer. You could have a small hive. You're always going to get 10, 10, uh, you know, if I actually successfully move. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, my go to move. Yeah, roll to move. One. One, you get a grip. Yeah. You can use that to move an yeah. extra dice, or you can keep it for trouble later. Extra dice. So one, add five, six. One, two, three. Okay, you're going to look through that door? Yeah, I'm going to look through that door and walk through that door. 
So you get the five XP for looking through a door, and you get to choose again. Okay. Giant map. That's a huge map. A murky clearing. Murky clearing, okay. And since I moved four, I can move two again. No, no, you've stopped with me. You look from the door, not stop. So you've got your five XP. I'm going to get murky clearing, which is from base. I tried to still try to cope with Toko. A murky clearing. And we come in. So that's our murky clearing. There's no special uh, encounters for this one. And our yellow token will be down one. We will need an exploration token. Those. There we go. So, me? Your turn. Roll for a dice for me. Where are you moving? Um, you are moving oh, six. six. So, one, two, three, four. Five. I'm going to put myself up front in case anything bad happens, they'll come to me first. Um, I can scavenge because there's no enemy models, so yeah, damage please. Another three down. <coughs> No. Rick. So then finally, Simon, turn. Simon at the back. Can you roll the dice for move? Four. Four. There. And I'll scavenge that, that ring, please. You really haven't successfully scavenged that at all. Yes. Yes. Choose one. Oh. Chilling Dread, draw a growing dread and add it, uh, card and add it to the stack. Okay. Um, 10 XP. So. And 10 coins. Yeah, 10 XP and 10 coins. We will, will be adding growing dread. Uh, what you find in the shadows only confirms the doom that awaits you all. Okay, so. That's not good. Uh, we don't have the grit to cancel it, so have to be all of us using a grit. And there's only me with grit at the moment. Um. Is yours one? Was yours is once per game. once per adventure cancel a growing dread or darkness card? Um, I think that lead allows you to look at it after it gets revealed and choose it. So you, we can, yeah. we can put it on and then again. I have a, you know obviously I have a slight preference for that on the grounds that if this is drawn, uh, I get a grit and ability token. Probably card is key, but I I, I think we we'll just. Yeah, we do that. So, so I, could I have a grit and a strike? I get the strike. Okay, there's a strike. There's grit, grit, and we add a growing dread to the stack. Bum, bum, bum. Yeah. I don't mind. And that's because the end of the turn. Because when anything right. bad's coming, I'm just leaving. So, so oh, it's not the end of the turn at all. Not the end of the turn at all, because we reveal that exploration to it. Want to turn it over? Yes, please. What do we got? It's a darkness encounter with two doors and a clue. Oh, a clue? Um. So, right. D3 okay. strike. Can I do my D3 strike? So, okay, you, you get a D3 strike that comes clue. Okay, so yeah, you get, you get three. Yeah, you get And you've now maxed out on your strike, I think. No, I've got one more. Oh, you got one more. Oh, nice. Six. Six. Extra strike. Okay, so that's that. Right. Uh, we'll come to the, the clue in the, the book when we've done the all that stuff. So, darkness. So it's going to be a darkness card. Someone want to? I'll choose. Go that far down. Oh, okay, going straight that far down. Um. Okay, winds of change, darkness, mutation. Every hero immediately takes two wounds, ignoring defense and one corruption hit for each mutation they have. Woo! No thanks. <laughs> None of us are mutated. No. No. <laughs> okay, so that does enough. Uh, which is the door that we don't have? Yeah, we'll see which door we don't have. Four. Four straight up. One. Okay. So, okay, put them there. Uh, I will ask. Oh, that's Raven. Raven, do you need cat? You have to sit up properly, come on. I'm just going to move this that way a little bit. Yeah. Tribal border! The area you have stumbled into is filled with 
grotesque totems. Grotesque. Grotesque, yeah. Grotesque totems covered in feathers, bones, and gore. It seems to have been to be a tribal warning. Draw a sepramentant tribe card to sh show that territory you have passed into. This replaces any serpent men tribe can already in play redraw. Then roll a d6 on the roll of one or two. The local tribe does not take kindly to your trespassing. So, that would, if, we, if we'd already had a serpent men one out, it would change. But we don't have a serpent one out, so that's fine. We just get a new tribe to represent what is the tribe that we are, which territory we're in. Okay, so I roll. I have rolled six, and if I roll a one or a two, um, we get attacked. I rolled a two. We get we attacked. Bye. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So that, that's gone there. We're getting attacked so, by what? So hell dice. Also, well, let Simon choose which serpent tribe we've got. Uh, we are facing the Diamond Scale tribe. Uh, fierce warriors, they get plus one combat formation, immune to critical hits when adjacent to another serpent modifier model, and we get an extra five hit. Um, the Diamond Scale tribe itself, perhaps the most cunning and fierce of the tribes. The warriors of the Diamond Scale are hunters to the core. Disciplined and deadly, they work as a pack and use fighting formations to guide each other's flank as the strikers move in for the kill. Okay, uh, well, I rolled a six. Oh, so six of them. Wonderful. Yeah, uh... Um... Ah! Uh, oh, the blue one. Blue. There's a fun-looking blue one. Um, high colourful people? One of them turns. Uh, yeah. They're rainbow color. Yay! Yeah, those different snake colors. So yeah, that, that's our uh, that's our snake people. What were they? They were plus the one plus one combat back. and immune to critical hits if they're adjacent. Right, so there you go, adjacent. So once you're right up against them, they can use those shields to um, prevent. So we shoot them. Mm. Yeah. Okay, serpent man. I'm sorry. Um. Taking. I think we kill them. I yeah. should step away from one of them. What kind? What kind of a leader are you? The well, like step away, because then like we can not oh, get yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Step backwards. Step. That us. Like step away from them. You've got a sword, and you're pretty good with it. True. Yeah, but we're that close. They have better defense. So. so here we go. Here's serpent warriors. Uh, so serpent tribe. Yep. Yeah. Sliver, they move through other models and change target each turn. They have dark stone weapons, so their rolls to six balls double damage. Uh, and they have shields, their defense is doubled while adjacent to an attacker. So it's like you really don't want to be adjacent to these because their defense goes right up and you can't crit them. So there you go, that's what they look like. Uh, they've got a move of 10, they're really fast. An issue of five, so they're fucking over for everybody. everybody. Combat at two and three damage. So that's now combat at three. Three doing three damage. Defensive two, six health. They don't have that a lot of health yeah. though. So they're, they're, We're dead. Their immunity to critical alt is only if they're adjacent to one of their own. Of their own? Yes. <laughs> We're dead. Annoying. Because they all start adjacent to their own. How annoying. Okay, right. Okay, so that was the end of the turn, I think. Nothing else to do this turn. Oh, the clue thing. Clue thing. So first clue, we all get a dark stone. We've got one dark stone. And that means dark we can only leave after one two clues, can't we? So, yeah, two clues. One. And we, we assess how we're doing after two clues. And we can go for a third, or indeed even a fourth. It just gets harder. It just gets harder. Yeah. I think our sergeant is very pessimistic. I think our sergeant is very pessimistic and just wants to leave us here to die. There's six of them against four, they and they can only attack their own. No, they can only. Thinking that there's like there's there's four of there's four of us yes but we have guns they do not mm. yeah we have more advanced weapons they are primitive tribals if you're in melee combat do you get a penalty when shooting at them no the only thing is that you can only 
should try to get the monster out of Jason's teeth. Yeah. Right. So. It's not uh, my fault if we all die. Start of the round. Who's getting the strike from Raven? Are you fully? I have one more. So if strike. you give it to yourself, you can use your ability to make us do more damage to Raven. Yeah, hmm. fine. I'm going to target that. Okay. I'm going to target so, that monster. So it's this one, isn't it? When does it say? It says, flagging enemy. At the start of each turn during a fight, you may use one strike to place that strike mark on an enemy model. Until the end of the turn, heroes are plus one damage on all their attacks against that enemy model, and each hero may re-roll a single defense or willpower against Hey, we're just going to do it out so the back, like... Which, which, yeah, which one? So you can put on the back guy? Oh, uh, I'm thinking back. maybe the, actually the front one, because... Couple one at the front. Yep, yeah, so you put the, strike, put the strike next to it. That's our target. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Okay, so we need to hob up Darnus. <coughs> okay, right, so two dice. <coughs> I've got to succeed. Otherwise, we don't. No, I do, I don't. We succeed, I yeah, can we get... and get some more strike. We've already used up all that strike pool. Everybody gets a strike. Uh, except unless you're full strike, right? Yeah, which <laughs> one? I'm full, so. Okay. So, one strike for Raven, you get a strike sparking. Uh, and then immediately use it on game push to move. Oh, because you've yeah. So you get a plus two move, okay. I'm on max, so I get plus two move okay. instead of strike. I thought, are you on six? What you said you on five? I'm still going to use it. I have so time. I wouldn't use it on the move. The move is not what you need right now. I'm not dying. Good point, I have ridiculous range. You're like right oh, at the God. back. I mean, and also their move is ten. So plus, plus two move isn't going to help. Yeah, running away ain't gonna help. Yeah, Ooh. very hard to run away from these ones. And only one go. will be attacking you anyway. Yeah. So that was so that was the pop-up darkness. Anything else at the start of the turn? I think that um, was it. Yeah, it, 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 we have to <coughs> get who they target. So it's who is going to be the get. So someone's going to get two. So two people are going to get two. Uh, well, <laughs> Bucky doesn't get. And not uh, Sparky. Not so, Sparky. So which of which one of us three? three so one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Uh, doesn't get targeted. Two. Two. So the sergeant. So the sergeant <laughs> gets one. I mean, that's fine. So they they will move as far as they can to get behind people. So the copper one, I guess, goes first and moves all the way. And uh, there. It can move. It's got ten move. Yeah. Then one. There. Yes, two. There. Because they slither. Yeah. And then one. There. Wow. One. Two. There. Wow. Wow. There we go. Yeah. So we work our uh, way from. No hate from though. Also, so Sparky. Yeah. Does now have one behind you. So you need to roll red dice for this because it's an enemy. Three. And it three. Three red dice and it will hit on four or more. So one. one hit, so it's going to do three damage. So you get to use your def uh, defense against that. Three de so three. one one dice. You did not. Uh, once per turn, I re may re-roll a single defense roll because of Fluffy. Because of Fluffy. Fluffy's just living in your pocket like... Throw the Fluffy at him! But nothing! <laughs> You completely uh, missed that. You could have rebuilt anyway because of the strike token from the side. Mm. So you didn't need Fluffy, but anyway. But I like Fluffy. Fluffy, Fluffy saved you. Right. So next, one to Simon. Simon's got two. So we're going to six, six, six red dice against Simon. Yeah, Fluffy bites the six. Fluffy, 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 Fluffy flew at their face. Just like jumped on them. No. And so they stopped hitting me. No, Sparky. Yeah. Fluffy flew. At the nose. Do they have noses? Yes, they have snouts. They, they have snouts, they're like serpent like, yeah. snouty things. Uh, then it just goes, oh wow, five and you took. Uh, that's what? Three. Three. So that will be uh, three defense rolls. Three defense rolls, yeah. And this time you don't have Fluffy. And you don't have Fluffy. And I take two hits because I've got a defense of three. Yeah. yeah. So that's what, six damage. Six damage. Hey, I got the one I wanted on me. Yay! Oh, uh, no, the, I'm not we okay. got a greenish one. 
I so, have a turquoise one. Yeah, turquoise. So three against Raven. Because I only have one on me. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. purchase some map. Only hits once, so one defense from Raven. Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. Six attacks on me. Three. I don't feel sorry for you guys. Yeah, like. Thanks. I, I feel sorry for you. If I had an extra spare fluffy, the fluffy oh, wow. would be oh, no. there. There's some sixes there. Oh, oh. oh dear. If it helps, there's six on Simon. So, oh, there's a six on Simon. There's six and two fives. Uh, oh, I didn't oh. miss it. There's six. Uh, so you would have taken. Uh, we need to realise if that's the one you dodged or not. Yes, we'll so roll, 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 roll one dice. And if it's a five or a six, you know, it'll be the one that no, that'll be the one that that'll be the one that you blocked because you blocked. All oh, right, so I blocked that one. So you blocked that one. So I only got six because nine puts me down. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've got two sixes and one normal one. Uh, so could you roll? I guess two red dice and one white dice for my defense. Oh. The red dice being the sixes. I want to remove the dice. Yeah, from the yeah, dice. yeah. Let's get these out of the way. There you go. Uh, um, so that would be. Can you grit that yet? Well, yeah, do you want to grit that? That would be 12 damage, my man. I would fall over. No. It would be okay. Um, um, well, I think oh, yeah, I'm going to grit that so I can reroll those two red dots, please. You if you fell over. Strike to uh, grunt damage. Um, yeah. If you fell off, well, I will drag you out. No, I don't fall over because I, I have a total of 16 health. So the fact that I've just taken 12 isn't great. No, um, it was your And I am going to use those two strike to, to reduce that. Ten. So just 10 damage. Ow! Ow! My most of me. Yeah, my most of me. Ow. Right, is that now... I mean, you know, you know what? I don't think we're going to find much cover in Jagano. So I'm going to go take cover! I'm going to use my team ability to take cover. I'm going to prevent d6 wounds of that. So roll the dice. Roll the dice, yeah. See how much of that, deep, how many of that? Nine. Three. So I can give that five back. That's two. Um, and realistically, uh, as soon as it comes around to me, I'm probably going to abandon. That was a lot of pain. I'm in a lot of pain. Hey, now it's my turn. Uh, it is. There's not much point to move. I can shoot them from. Well, you roll, see if you get a grip. Yeah, roll to see if you get a grip. Don't get a grip. Um, okay, see. Um, so that, that one is the target. You're going to do. Yeah, so the one behind me that's trying to kill me, that's the target. Yeah. Why did you run the Why I did? So I could get the cool one. Just because it's the one on the front, so we went first. Um, okay, so I have one shot and then, yeah. So how much do I hit? And how's it going to So you roll to, how many shots does it got? One. One, so you roll so you get over your, your ranged to hit, which is four. No. Yeah. You can re-roll that with grit, or you can use two strike to re-roll it. I do want to hit this. Don't have any grip. Yes. Six. Can it crit? Because that is a crit. So ignore the critical part because it's standing next to a, a thing. Yeah. Uh, its defense is double, so its defense is four at the moment because you're adjacent to it. I roll a peril dice plus one for damage. Yeah. I mean, there's an argument for trying to back off on these things so that they, you can get more damage. But yeah, okay. Peril dice plus one plus another one from the from this, isn't it? Yeah. You can get plus one damage from that. Uh, and you're plus one from being Sarcon. Seven, eight. So that's eight damage. Less four is four damage. And how much damage does it have? Six. Okay, so I'll put it down. If, you, if you'd have moved away, you'd have killed it. Step to side and shoot. I even um, if I like just stepped, you would have stepped there. You stepped out if you'd there. have moved out the way, I might have been able to try and escape as well. Do you, do you want to try that? Because it's not too yeah. much to, to So, do you want to try and move? 
So okay. that's so I, got, I get two. You get two, but you have to make an escape roll. I automatically oh, pass the escape test. So yeah, so why did you even not roll? So you go there, you shoot that one, and you kill it. Hey, it's dead. <laughs> R.I.P. How much now, XP do we get? Now, who has three uh, on them? 35. 40, because I think it's plus five. Yeah, going to a tribal one. So who has the most on them? None now, they're all... That was... That was, um... That was one straight dead. Yeah, there's only five. Do you want to pass that out? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, the next in the initiative is Raven. Yep. Raven, yeah. So you roll, see if you move. Three. Three. There's no point. I. You can't move. No. So. Actually, I could use the outskirts and go. Well, no. you can move there. That's it. One. There's no point. They can't go anywhere from there. Diagonal. Uh, nor the black blob covers the corner. So I'm afraid not. No. Would you still need to make an escape roll? You would need to make an escape roll. I'll be here. I shall be here. Okay. I am going to try to shoot it. Which one? You, uh, the one that's fighting you? Yes. Yep. Yeah, so if you try to shoot it, that is your gun. So I need two shots. Yeah, two this shots. This gun. I may not get a good hit. Is me six. Um, uh, is melee far? Melee, no, melee is close. Oh. Range is far. Range is far. So I need four plus. So why? Do, so yeah, you're going to shoot it. We're going to say your your range is four. Your melee is three. So you're more likely to hit, but you might do more hits with the gun. Can't you do both? Uh, you can. I'll you've do got both. Sword then. And a pistol. You've got sword, you can do both because they're in both mm. hands. So you can do both. Um, I think that means I'm trying to remember. I'm going to startle it like I'm using both weapons. Yeah, let's check the rules. <laughs> <laughs> but using two weapons. Let's you check the rules for using two weapons. Oh, da, da, da. Rest in peace. Oh, God. Rest in peace. And rest in pepperoni. Because that's what you can get. I'm going to turn you into snake pepperoni. So, um, uh, what if this one dies, hypothetically, will we each get one each? If there's that many left, yes. Yeah, if there's four left, we all get one. I'm going to turn that snake into pepperoni if I kill it. Dual wielding. Rest in pieces. Oh, pepperoni. Rest in pepperoni. Dual wielding two ranged weapons. It's a ranged and a melee. Possibly you can stab someone and shoot him at the same time. That sounds... <laughs> gory, like like ridiculously gory. Exactly. After heroes move, they're allowed to make one attack. This can be a melee attack using their basic combo or a ranged attack. So yeah, so it's either one or the oh, other. Alright. So it's one or the other. I'll do the gun then. Do the gun. Okay. Two shots. Two shots. So two dice? Yeah. I'm just gonna get four and higher. I got Ooh, four and higher. And six. Six. six does three hits. Six does. They can't do crits, the gun may not get critical hits. Every hit counts as two hits. So, so, so you've got five hits, so you, so you shot it five times. <laughs> oh, you've shot five times. Oh, so you've shot five times, that's true. Um, uh, so you now need to roll damage five times, so that's five dice worth of damage. Yeah. Okay, let me uh, Might want to do them one at a time. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, that's the no, doesn't, matter. doesn't matter for that. Yeah. So five, five dice, you're doing plus two damage on each one. One from your sword, because it's adjacent, and one from being from Tarkov. So five dice. It's dead. Wow! Um, it's dead. So, yeah, so, so you allocate them one at a time. So that's so that's plus two damage, minus four. So Eight minus four, four. Four. Four kills it. So that's now dead. Turn it to salami. And you can shoot another one and put four wounds on it. Get the one that's... Um, Blue, red, yellow, green. I oh, wouldn't it have to be one of these people. Oh yeah, blue or red. Blue or red. 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 Okay. Red, Red get shot. Before you get your 40 XP, is it? Yep, yeah, 40. How much did I get? I turned 20, yeah. <laughs> 25, 10, 5, yeah. So, a hail of bullets out of your trench pistol. I oh. turned it into salami. Yeah. Oh. Surprise. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so they're me. Yep. Snake's like okay, uh, roll for move. Roll for move. Yeah, in case you get a grip. You don't? No. But I don't think there's any advantage of me standing next to these. It just makes their defense high. So could you roll, make a escape roll, please? Five one dice to get five or more. Yeah. Or you could just kill that. 
red wall. Yeah, but I'm going to step out so that they don't have their shields defending them. Mm. Or at least not as much as their shields defending them. So I step out there. Um, and then I have uh, two shots. I'd love to use some strike, but I used it all to not take hits. So I guess, actually, before I do that, you roll one dice as I use those bandages. Was this the hold back to the dark? No, this, this Did you. we do it? Yeah, no, 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 yeah. Okay. Remembering rules. Rules. So many rules. Oh, yeah, so I've healed most of those back. Right, yeah. So now I have two... Sh sorry, one shot, sorry. One shot, please. One dice to see if I hit. One. I guess I don't. Don't hit it. I will then re-roll that, because once per turn I may re-roll one of my two to hit rolls, so I'll re-roll that. One. You roll the one again. Okay. What do you use the grit? No, I've got, I have a grit. I have a grit, um, but I could use a strike with it, but you know. Um, that's me done. I did nothing. It's my turn? Yes, yeah, I'm in. Let's do your move. Right, Five. Um, okay, first thing I'd like to try and do is escape. So, five plus escape. Two. No, so I don't escape. Uh, I'm going to use my bandages. Yeah, so uh, I've got one dice. Two. Two. I've taken no damage. I've only taken four sanity damage. I, um, and I then I'm going to shoot three times, but I'm also going to spend two grit to get... Um, I don't uh, Double hits. Double hits. Okay. Uh, can I get three dice to roll uh, to hit, please? Six, five, three. Right, so that's four hits, then currently not taking criticals. Oh. Currently not. So you well, could maybe kill. Could you kill with a normal hit one? Possibly. I'm on what? Six plus one for being. The one for being talk on. You're not attacking a targeted though, so. No. Uh, and they're on four, so. Seven. Getting six is just. So six would do seven damage? Yes, which would do three. Three. If I, uh, but I've got two hits, so the first. Oh, uh, yeah, no. But, oh, yeah, because you hit on three, so it three plus No, no, I've got two hits total. Ah, yeah, no, I was just thinking if you could kill one with one shot, then you, they're no longer next to each other. Yeah, yeah, but I get two hits with one shot. Oh, God, yeah, you do. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, oh. Yeah. So I'm firing a burst. So, so I'll target this one. So roll one dice for the first hit on that one. Can we move these out this way? Yeah. Do you want to, do you want to help oh, Tony in slot? You can roll two, because it'll be two hits on that. Yeah, okay, yeah, so two hits on that. One, two. Uh, does nothing. Nothing. Uh, the other two uh, roll again. So, yeah, it would be nice if we could have killed that, then you'd have got your crit. But... Simon, do you want help? Uh, that's six. Six plus four is two. That's two. Snake salami. How do you do that with bullets, though? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. So, so far, you kill it. And then you grab your sword and then slice it in the uh, Once it's dead. I mean, that is true. You, you do tend to kill the, the animal first, then turn it into salami. I thought she was being salami on. Anyway. anyway, so that's the end. I think that's the end of that turn. Yeah. That's Primitives fell upon Simon and Jonas with their Makahootal as they mobbed the strike team. Resolutely, the Tarkon soldiers remained standing, although Simon was pushed into first aid measures. Immediate return fire put two of the strange snake headed people into the muck, but the sounds of gunfire was sure to draw more. The fight needed to end swiftly, and without much more injury. Sell it for 40. You right. didn't get any money. So, start of the next turn, hold back the darkness. Raven gets a strike where who's going to get the strike? Me. You? Okay. Do you want to put a strike on anyone who we're going to target? We're going to target this bus because we're going to kill it. Right. That has only got two wounds left. Oh, it's using an unwounded one. Green. Green, Green. one? Okay. Um, Turn it to some lobby. No. So I think there is by one. It's not a spot. It's not a spatter. So it's them to go first. They reallocate targets, which basically means they, they just basically each of us gets one. But we need to work out who gets which wounded one. So the really, really wounded one, can we have a, I guess we'll work out a D, 
roll, so roll a d8 yeah, on the bar yeah. yeah. So yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So d8 for the wounded one, who's it go to? So that one just turns around to hit Raven. I'm going to try to just the bar. I'm going to move that slightly more, we might need to spread that a bit more. That one? Who's it, who's it going for? Who's it going for? The really next, next wounded one is on Simon. So that means the un. So which one did this this one go to? Well, it, we'll just do odds even. Odds. That one comes over Ooh. like you. And that one comes over like me. They're no longer adjacent to each other. They're adjacent to us, but they're not adjacent to each other. Yeah. So they get their shield cover from their shield being up, but they don't get their being in formation yeah. to each other. So I guess we'll work with this one. So this one has. Three attacks on Sparky. Three red dice or white dice, it really matter. Yep. Oh. oh dear. Oh, I do get defense rolls, right? You do get. You would get defense rolls. That is going to be roll the red and two um, yeah. whites. The red one being the critical. Got it. Oh no. So nine. So you can re-roll the defense roll. Because Well, also because that's the one that's got the strike. Mm. But either way, you get to re-roll the defense roll. You get to re-roll both You get to re-roll all the failed dice. All failed dice. Please just dodge the crit. Yeah, I dodge the crit. Right. Um. Okay, so if you had two strike, you can use to re-roll that last one. Oh no, it's hit roll, sorry. Yeah. So in which case you're going to take three damage. Yeah. Which you can use um, strike to prevent if you want. I'm bleeding. Yeah, fine. Everybody does it. Yep. That's three damage. Three damage. That was you. Three hits on me. Next one, Simon. Yeah, three hits on Simon. We just remove these dice. Three. <laughs> <laughs> that's three hits. So. Uh, that's three. Uh, there's no sixes, so three. Uh, yeah, three defense, defense rolls. rolls, please. So uh, one gets three. One gets through. Three damage. Can you survive three damage? Just. <laughs> Barely, yes. Okay. Yeah. Then the next arc is Raven, the Sam Agent getting beaten on by this one. So three dice you know, Raven. I will turn around and turn you into Salami like your friend. Two hits, so two defense roll. I shall turn you into Salami. So you successfully dodged one. You could if you had a grit. Do, no, you have no grit. So you're going to take three damage. That's three damage. It clubs you. It's Makahoopal or whatever then. And then three for me, as I get beaten up and pined by this one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so three defense rolls, please. Um, one red. One red, because one of those is a six. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Defended most. Defended most. So I'll take three points. Boom. Smacked. That one. And there's us. So. The engineer. Yay, being about my move so I can hopefully get better arena on this too. Um, one, two. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, that one with the strike on. Um, okay. Guess I get more damage on that. I guess I don't have one shot. I don't have any melee weapons. I'm not close enough to do melee. Six! I have a crit then. And it's far enough away that the crit works. Yeah. So it's not adjacent to one of its friends, so its crit works. Its defense is ignored. So what do you do? You are peril dice. Plus one. Plus one. Plus, plus one. Plus, plus one. one. So is that a minimum of six? That's a minimum of no, six. No, it's a minimum of four. Peril dice plus one, plus one, plus one. Oh, no, 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 It's dead. What are you trying to do? It's a salami. Welcome to the salami making club. Blat. Uh, 40 XP. More snake salami. More snake salami. 
Okay. So, Raven, your turn. I got a ton of Raven. To move. You might, you might get grit, and you might want to step away. Sparky, your XP's in the middle, okay, by the way. Thank you. <coughs> Sorry, roll to move. You got a grit. You got a grit. Yay. It's a grit. Okay. I prepared. Unfortunately, whichever way you move, you're still going to be next to one. Unless yeah. you want to spend a strike to get plus two move. I'm going to... Sp- I'm going to... Well, uh, what you might want to do is roll to see if you can escape first. Yeah, roll see if you yeah, yeah, can so One dice, trying to get five or more. You one. can't. Right. Okay, I'm going to turn around. Turn around. And go, Oi, mate, yo! Behind me, I'm going to shoot you now. Okay. With the two shots. Two shots? I'm prepared to tell you. Uh, six and two. So one of them hits, one of them doesn't. <coughs> That's three hits. Okay. Three, three hits. hits. So, three dice. So you see if we can get past its. I'm going to take the dice out. I'm prepared to turn you into salami. Nice snake salami. So, one of the two didn't do nothing because it's, it's, it's a defence is four. Yeah. So, the six does six, seven from your sword, eight from Tarkon. Minus it's, four. Minus four is four, which is enough to kill it. Kill it. Yeah. So More four, salami! Yeah. More salami! Okay, that was you. There's me. As I turn around and go, ah, you are behind me. Now I shoot you, maybe, or try and move away. So try roll see, roll see if I move. Uh, One. Want to get a grip, please? Um, yeah. Roll my escape. Five. Five. Aha! I got gotcha. you. Step yeah, back. Then, um, still only have one shot because you're not being strike. So yeah, one shot, please. This. Yep. Yeah, one, two, three. Four. Four. Hit. Yeah. Um, I roll d8 for damage, please. Uh, in, in the drain. Five. Five. Plus one from Tarkon makes six. I don't think there's anything else. Um, so six um, minus it's two is four. Um, okay. My go. Slime go, yeah. Uh, roll to move, please. Three. Three. Uh, roll to escape. One. Nope. I'm dice the wrong way around. Uh, I am going to shoot then uh, with. Uh, I'm going to um, spend two strike uh, to get double hits. How many dice do I Three have? dice. Is there a 100 XP token? I believe so. That's uh, six and a five. Six and a five. So, uh, so the six. Uh, I'll start with the. So what? It does, take, does take, it does take crits because there's nothing yeah. extra, so... Yeah, I'll start with the um, critical oh, hit. Um, so I get two mm. critical hits. Uh, well, that one does two, not... Does two, two wounds because it's a critical hit. Three because... Three, three wounds, yeah. So it's still one off. Um, can I put one of the normal hits on it? Well, that was only one of your two crits, wasn't it? Yes. So, yeah. crit, which is no, no, normal, 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 normal. So, normal. so <laughs> six minus two. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. Good, isn't it? So that's. You and can't get this one. Just slime making uh, up. So if you roll one red, which is a critical, one um, white, which isn't. One red, one white. And that will go on this one. Uh, three, uh, that's five. five. Yeah. Right. So that's eighty XP for you. They are all dead. You know, we all turned them into salami. We did, there were snakes in salami. Three you, 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 Yeah, you did um, salami. Do people you do want to cash in the smaller numbers of XP, Absolutely. by the way? Yes, okay. please. I have 100 XP right, right. here. You can pass me the 100, I'll pass you 100. So, we hundred. get to catch our breath. So, everyone went that turn. So, that means you get to heal D3. Wounds or... or Yay! So, I'll go first. D3 is free. Um, am I going to heal all my wounds or my Okay, sound? next D3, please. Heal all my wounds? Okay. Who's this for? Let's do Raven. Raven heals two. Okay. Bad. Mm-hmm. Could I use uh, How many do I heal? Um, you're going to heal three. Oh. Okay, and how many for me? Um, and you heal three. Three, three. Uh, three. Okay, we all now get a loot card. 
What do I find from the snake dead carcasses? That well, snake dead bones, because we dark stone rock. I mean, I think we get a loot card. I think you're supposed to get loot cards on doing threat cards, but I think it's a bit unfair to not count that as a threat card. So, mm. okay, so I'm gonna do my deck thing. Um, I found dynamite. I got, I got XP. Two, I got 20. And I've only got oh, no, no, on the card. Oh, 20. 20. I think these are all 20s. Right. This should have come in handy. No, that's going to No, yeah, so just. So what was it? How many? 20 XP and 2 Darkstone. Wait, where did my bandage go? So... XP and 2 Darkstone. Yeah, thank you. This should come in handy. Yeah, you got this should come in handy. So did I. So you get... Because we're in an other world. This isn't our home world. Oh, right. You uh, passed for the dynamite back. Sorry, I didn't think you got... I no, no, you no. got the dynamite. So you get to choose an answer back from this giant stack of art. That's yeah. huge. Card to the swamp side of our Okay. Slow. 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 Discard to heal D3 plus 3 runes or to heal an injury of D6 or 4 plus. Okay. I have a pointless sword. Sorry, I have a dark stone blade. My combat hits are critical hits on 5 or 6. Meh. I don't care. I don't do critical combat. So if you pass me the your loot belt back, that one, yeah. And oh, I need to, uh, can you roll the d6 for me, please, by the way? Six. 300. Money. So ridiculous amount of money. You can buy my gun. So yeah, that was our first fight. We're now one clue down. And right. that was you, so it was actually naturally the end of the yeah. turn. As the last shots of the machine gun ring out, the enemies are slain. The team quickly take what they can before forging ahead into the next clearing. Between the trees, the occasional glimpse of flashing eyes can be seen, but no further attack arrives. Yet. It becomes clear they are now passing into grounds wholly to the tribe, but the very air around them forces them to backtrack into a detour as they continue their plunder. So, we then start a new turn of holding back the darkness. Okay, two dice. Fail. Right. So that will be a dark scanner. Mm, it's on this giant scare. This giant scare for darkness card. Do you want to rotate the map around because of the weather? I think we'll still work out which way we're going. Okay. Should we get rid of the first entrance? We'll work out where we go. We'll see what we need to do. Right, so there's a giant stack of darkness cards. I'm going to go and give it a cut down to that far. I'm cutting or taking the top. Cutting. This one? Yeah. Yeah. Eyes in the dark. Anytime a hero recovers one or more grit, they also take one corruption hit. It remains in play. Okay, so there we go. Eyes in the dark. The snake people are watching us because we just Yeah, we just killed them. I turned them into snakes or something. So that was it. Snake um, salami. It's okay, we get the picture next time. So, we're, and we now know that we're facing what is it, the diamond scale tribe. Okay, that's that's the random tribe random, um, with all the ulcers and whatever. And they're the people who are apparently not using all this diamond properly, so we're going to have it instead. So, uh, initiative next. Oh, um, did, uh, did you give the sergeant that strike? Oh, yeah, the sergeant gets the strike. Who's going to get the strike, sergeant? Uh, me. You? Yeah, okay, there's a strike. I think you know, the whole where we go might be tied up a bit of Sergeant taking all their cards. I did say, I did move them. There we go. Right, so where, so Sergeant gets, so Ooh. no, oh, sorry, Sparky gets the two me. enemies then, didn't I? You did, so you get two, two, two strike from him. I've got strike here, so. Okay. Five movement. So they have lantern. Yeah, if you guys can't leave me behind. Okay, are you going to search though, scavenge? Uh, yeah, I'll scavenge. Cool. Yeah, yeah, scavenge successfully. <laughs> scavenge, scavenge, okay. it'll be an ambush. There's nothing here. Except $10. I have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
Yeah. Okay, so next is the rolling to move for the sergeant. Okay, let me just pick up my stuff. Let's go. Great. One, you get a grip. Yeah. You will now take a corruption hit because of no. eyes in the dark. Um, I'm going to spend a grip though. For what? Using my dice. Oh. Well, you, you, well, you still get the grit. I know. So you still get take the corruption hit first. So let's um. work out the corruption hit. So that's one dice to see if, on against your willpower, see if you take a corruption. Four. You do not. Much. All right. Are you going to keep that grit or are you going to spend it to move? I'm going to spend this grit because I have two. Okay, so one grit gets spent. So you roll another dice. See how far you move. Two. two. So you get to move three in total. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, you, are you going to scavenge? Yeah. Okay, yes. three dice for scavenge, please. Yeah, you succeed. So that room is now fully scavenged, but you also get scavenged. Nothing here, but at least there's $10 in the next bit. Which gives me plenty of how much do you need to level up? 100. 500. 500. 520. Okay, so it's now Anthony. You roll the dice, please, for my initiative move. Four. Four. Yeah. I don't suppose it particularly matters. So, one, two, three. I'm going to go there and look through that door. Uh, with a giant stack of boxes. Map deck, we'll do some movement in the moment. And I find another murky clearing. Okay. I'm going to just put the exploration token down and then we'll sort the map out when we well, do Well, I think... Because I don't think I can get that far anyway. Well, what I was going to do was, I've got, just got this murky clearing out. I think there are more than one tile pieces of something. Of some of them, yeah. So murky clearing is like that going there. All I was going to do was if we just take that one off. Uh, you can just move it all that way. That's our new. You can also move it now a bit. That's a new murky clearing. And it gets an exploration token. And we're over to Simon. Uh, can you roll the dice for movement, please? Yeah, yeah, it's fine. So, yeah, roll to move. Roll to move, Simon. One, three. Oh, so I get a grit, that's a good. Grit and a corruption hit. Uh, can you roll a willpower save for us? Or? Can we actually shake the dice in our hand before we roll it? I have noticed you've got a tendency to pick up. Uh, so that's successful, but I'll move one. Can I still scavenge that room? Yes. Can you roll three dice, please? Shake them together. The end roll. There we go. Yes. yes. Nothing We're all fine. Hideous discovery. Hideous discovery. Poking around in the shadows, you see some that chills to the bone. You quickly return to your group of foods and to speak of what you find. Take three horror hits that do two sanity damage each. Okay, so how do I do that? Uh, so I need three saves. Three saves, yeah. It's three dice. Three dice. Every single one pass. Oh, wow, wonderful. Six, six, five, you went, oh, there's a dead and snake And get $10 here. and 10 XP. You found a dead snake. Okay. That was a freshly killed one. So, let's so see what this is now that we've got to the end of the turn. Uh, encounter. So two doors. Can we work out where the door is not? The door is not uh, four. The door is not straight on. So oh, That's convenient. <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh, I also think it is almost certain. Actually, no, come to think of it, you probably have to actually block that one off because there's no way that's it'll be that way. Because there's no, there's no tile that's going to be in there. Okay, um, and we just get an encounter. Uh, and the encounter is. Times two. Times two, yeah. So the encounters are coming from. Tell you what, let's have Simon choose one. Okay. And then you can pick one. So Simon goes first. Sacred grounds. The oppressive swamp opens up into a flooded plain here, stretching out into a vast plaza with stone columns and massive stepped pyramids rising in the distance. Etched glyphs and sinister serpent faces carved into stone walls here mark 
this village as a sac as sacred to the savage serpentman. All serpentman enemies on this and adjacent map tiles are plus one defense and plus one combat slash shots. These map tiles may also be scavenged up to two more, more times than normal. Loot pinata. <laughs> oh wait. So Serpent. that's this one. Now this one we have two more loot things yeah, on it. Yeah. yeah. So okay. the next one is. <laughs> A noxious cloud feel, fills the air, choking you with every gagging breath. Gurgling to the surface from beneath the water, massive bubbles of bog gas burst all around, creating toxic, toxic fumes. Every hero starting their activation on this map tile must make two willpower rolls. For each that is failed, gain one poison marker. <laughs> so we'll do this way. <laughs> yes! yes! Rivers! <laughs> I like the prod there, my gas. <laughs> These gas masks aren't very useful. No, no. Yeah, but I was facing you the whole way, because I knew that would be a bad look side. So there's lots of loot, <laughs> but there's also gas. Lots of loot, but also gas. Right, so. The other way! Are you going to move? Uh, uh, so that was the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, that's the end of the turn, isn't it? That's the end of the turn. Retreating from the foul vapours, the strike team passes remnants of the primitive architecture. Although the natives are content to simply watch, the decaying structures prove their own hazard. The strike team makes progress on their recovery efforts and face a key decision, but opinions are divided as to how to proceed. Part two of the first mission, I assume. Part two, yeah, yeah. Be brief pause for lunch. Uh, so, yes, what we got up to, we ended that turn. Revealing that, yeah, there was both bog gas in there. But extra loot. But extra loot there and there and whatever else came off there, which we are not going anywhere near. Because of the bog gas. We don't have a war with bog gas. I'm going to start with bog gas, but I'll be the only person with bog gas. Okay, right, I have to put back the darkness. Yeah, it's on your turn, pop up the darkness. Ugh. Oh, and look again. <laughs> again. I think you fast one. Yes. Yeah. Um, strike. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Raven, who's going to get strike? Me. You? Okay. Oops. You have room for one more after that. Oh, um, the end of that fight, mm -hmm. you'd got a grit because of your old photograph. Yeah. Yeah, but did you get? Did you? No. No, no. There's a second one. Yeah, when you when you um, catch your breath after a fight, you get a grit. The old of photograph. Your old photograph. You take out your photograph and have a look at it. I'm not entirely sure how my what I do with my tarnished key to be nice. Once per. Uh, once per turn, when a growing dread card is drawn, you may recover a grit and one ability token. Nice. It's like I understand the photograph, like you take out the photograph and go, yeah, it's just like, yeah. I'll keep press flower. Yeah. Okay, cool. Right. I get fluffy. You get fluffy. So it is going to be initiative orders then. Me first. Yep, go on then, roll to move. Okay, I'm going to. I'll pass you as like. Oh, cool. okay. Um, so. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. All right, so you're going to look through the giant stack. These. Where are we going? I'm going here. A temple courtyard. Temple courtyard, right. Okay, what oh, we no. might do is we take that. We keep Simon on the... Mm. On. Verge. On the edge. Come out. There we go. Well, pass me that and I'll take the corners off. And then if we... <laughs> You don't remember what that music's from. Tetris? <laughs> no, it's uh, Magic Roundabout. Ah, oh, right, yeah. Round around, around. It's a roundabout. It goes around. Magic Roundabout. Okay. There's a song my English teacher plays. Anyway, a temple courtyard. Okay. A temple courtyard. So, that is from Valley of the Serpent. So, we're looking at the Valley of the Serpent section of tiles. Which I can move. Which is helpful. Over here. Temple or courtyard, a vanilla ish. Temple, courtyard. Temple, courtyard. Oh. <laughs> Maybe it's. A wait. temple courtyard. Like that. We come in there. So, oh. Covered in leaves. 
VP Adventure! Some steps there. Um, so there's no special card or anything with it? No, no special card for this one. Right. Encounter, exploration. Yeah, we'll need an exploration. Uh, can we, we also... That one needs to go all two actually, because it should be on, should oh. be on 12. Yeah. There we go. That's like that. Five XP. <laughs> Door to <super> Sparky. <coughs> And then it is Sergeant Raven to go. So roll to move on Raven. Six. Mr. Spoon. I don't want to step there. All right, don't then. Step, you want to go? There you go. No, wait. Uh, was I here? No. Here. One, one. Two. Yeah, so that's where you are. So go. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So that was you. Do you want to scavenge that room? Yeah. Okay. So, you know. I'm likely going to get a six. You got six. And I got one. You got a six, so there you go. Did you get the discovery? Oh, oh horrid. No. Yay. With 10 XP. And 10, 10 money, too. So, three. yeah, you're going to take three horror hits. And willpower is four. Uh, you take one sanity. So that's two with each two. Two each two. It's Discovery. Poking around the shadows, you see something that chills you for the bone. You quickly return to the group, refusing to speak of what you find. What did you find? What did you find? What did you find? Uh, it's not talking, obviously. No. But, uh, uh, me? Yoga? So, I have to do the bog gas. Anywho, starting their activation on this map tile, <coughs> make two willpower rolls. Okay, so two willpower rolls at four or more. I'm oh, fine. Don't be worried about the bog. Don't be worried about the bog gas. It's fine. And then roll for my move. One. Okay, so I, so keep good because I'm already on max. Right, okay. Two. So roll another dice and we'll see how far I move. One, and one. Two. Back off into this room a bit. Scavenge? Uh, I can, yeah. There's so yeah, two more scavengers in that room there. Yeah. No. Nope. Nope. Uh, my go. Uh, can you roll to move, please? Two. two. And uh, scavenge, please. And I get a six. Yeah. Ooh. Something shiny. Roll a d6. Four. Four. One dash then. Oh, so, and ten dollars. Ten dollars. <coughs> and. ten XP. So. That is the end of the turn, so we reveal... Oh, it's the second clue and an encounter. Clue, D3 strike. One. I have strike, please. Give a stash. Give a stash. Give mm. a strike. Um, so we've only got one door, and it's a normal door. We don't have portals in this mission. Ah, uh, right. we have an encounter. We'll let the Raven choose, because... This isn't an encounter a monster. No, no, this is... We actually got, like, barely monster three to go. Crumbling stone. With a thunderous crack, large chunks of rock tumble down from the ruins above. Agility pull slide. If successful, gain 15 XP as you dodge the rubble. If they are, take D6 hits that do two damage each, then place rubble marks in empty spaces. The only people in that room and Yeah, me well, that's what I wanted to look at. We'll see who it says do, does it? It said, right, we all, the symbol says we all have to do. So, okay. yeah. So we all need to make an agility file. So we'll work, work our way around as per usual, starting, I guess, with Sparky. Okay, so how many dice? Agility. What's your agility? Uh, my agility is three, so, so three dice, we're going to get five or more. Uh, five and two, one of us. So as long as you've got a five, yeah. you're successful. So 15 XP as you dodge the rubble. Maybe. Sergeant Raven. Um, my agility is free. Got it. 15 there. Thank you. 
Uh, you got a five and six. So so you pass. So you dodge the rubble. Strength speed. I've got two agility. Two okay. Ten. Nope. Nope. And it's what? D6? D6 hits that do two damage each. Three and... Is there any... No, no, hang on. He's working out if he wants to do all that. Mm. Or two strike to get an extra die roll first. I'm going to spend... Yeah, two strike to get an extra die roll. So one extra dice? Three. Right. Nice. And then I'll kind of spend the grit. Then you spend the grit to re roll three. all three. Four. Um, uh, and that's five more, so one more dice because he's rolling three. Because of the extra one from the story. Three. No, even then, I still take you it. Three, Go on then. So D6 hits. D6 hits, so roll a D6 to work out how many. Four, four hits. Um, so that's. Four saves. Four, four saves. Four defense saves. All but one. All but one, so how many? Two wounds. Two wounds. Get a hit. Uh, and then me, so could I have. Um, yeah, could I have. Three days. Three, yes, my duty's three. And I dodged the rubble. Right, then the bit that, that uh, Raven was reading. Then. Place rubble markers in empty spaces adjacent to D3 random heroes. These rubble markers block the movement and line of sight. If there are no empty spaces, do a whole bunch of stuff. So can we roll um, a D3 to find out how many random rubbles we're going to have? Two. So that's one. So I guess if you roll a D8, we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. So a rubble lands next to. So are we doing a D8 right. from there? Yeah, if we roll a D8, I don't know what I'm pointing to you. So, so one's this, this one. One. Right, so it's the, where the encounter thing is. Okay, there's a pseudo revelation looking rubble thing, there we go. Okay, so that was it. For that, work out oh. where the door is. So, which location has the door? Roll the D6, please. Six. Licks is to the right. So, not that one and not that one. Yep. And we found our second clue. So we have D, we each get D3 Darkstone. So again, we'll work out with Sparky first, D3. Sparky gets two. Raven gets five. Three. Three. Oh. D3, so it's half. Gunas gets three. Simon gets three. That's why they're not saying very good. Okay, so we could. We I mean, could. I think we should keep going. We're going to keep going, are we? Well, I prefer to stop. Hey. But that's because then we can get things like uh, Darkstone, chests and what have you to store stuff. So we don't get as corrupt when we bring back larger amounts of Darkstone. Yeah. Also we'll have a chance to buy things like bandages and things like that. Some of which so, I want nothing and I've only got three health left. Mm. Well I'm pushing on. I'm pushing on. Okay. I'm not pushing on. Not hard. pushing on. Alright, the, 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 the strike team is an absolute tie. Uh, if, if, if ever, if, Roll a d6. <laughs> even, oh, right. odds we continue, evens we stop. It's an odds, we continue. Okay. <laughs> Go with the dice. On your head be it. <laughs> right, the side is going, going over that. Right, that's why I was saying we're dead. Pessimist, but the, the, the uh, strike team is, is mutinying and carrying on regardless. <laughs> okay. Bye. So at least one more clue. Right then. Uh, that was the end of that turn, wasn't it? Committed to advancing further, they head into the jungle, where upon a chance encounter with hostile vegetation, delivers an astonishing revelation of their own notoriety. Mm -hmm. So, start of the next, who's getting the strike, Raven? Uh, you Me. Yeah. You can have strike. Oh, about the dinosaurs. Yeah. I can no longer take strike. 
Oh, I, 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 I mean, everybody gets a strike now. I everybody, actually did it. Everyone gets a strike, but Raven's at maximum as is. Uh, no, else? I get one. I think. Uh, Let me double check. Yeah, I get on one. One of one. On two of five, but yeah. six of six. Well, one of five, but yeah. No, I'm not getting much strikes. I'm not killing any things. Okay. Uh, so that was that. We successfully held out the darkness, and it wasn't a double. So we go to initiative. We have Sparky. Yay, you pee. I, I, can I pet Fluffy? Pet, pet Fluffy. Fluffy, yeah. Um, has no bonuses on oh, Pet Fluffy. Um, three. Um, One, two, three. Yeah. 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 Scavenge that room? Yeah, I'll scavenge. Okay, I think it's the second time this room, isn't it? Second time if it succeeds. No. It doesn't. Okay, Raven. I'm going to move. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I have to roll for you to move. You roll three. Three. You can get to the door. Two, three. Uh, okay. So you get to choose one from the giant stack of map tiles. It is... A swampy trail. Swampy trail? Is that like a straight passage? No, it isn't. No, it's not. It is a room. It's a wiggly room. A wiggly room. Swampy trail, that's from... Yeah. Yeah, that should work. Swampy trail right at the front, that's what I can There we go. And we come in at the like Yeah, like at that. the not wiggly bit. Yeah. Wait, um I'm not allowed to go into that room otherwise you guys get plunged into darkness. Well, what will we get we'll, we'll to move forward? And we're leaving that um, sacred grounds as well. So, <coughs> uh, five XP for Raven for looking through the through that. Through there. And then me roll for moving in. No. Oh, wait for me. You, you might not get to move very far, Sparky. Think so. Could you I'm roll three dice? Yeah. So I'll try and scavenge the last scavenger. I'm not gonna. Yeah, there's one more scavenger in that room. And you fail. And they agree with Robertson. Move. Move, you get a five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna move. That's, that room's got one more as well, eh? Yep, yeah. can I scavenge this room? Nope. Nope. Uh, does that come with an encounter? Oh, yes. There we go. Yeah, that's four. Yep. Okay, I think that's it. So at the end of the turn, we reveal what this is. It is an encounter, an encounter and one door. Can we roll the dice to see where the door is? Bye. And creeper vines, agility four plus. Uh, beneath the surface of the water, strangling tendril vines wrap themselves around your legs, threatening to pull you under. Uh, it's everybody, agility 4+, plus. if successful, gain 10 XP as you pull yourself free. If you rolled at least one 6 during this test, your thrashing um, in the water causes a half-eaten cadaver to float to the surface. Take three horror hits, and you may draw a loot card. If failed, you're pulled into the spiny jaws of the creeper trap and burned with acid before uh, breaking free. Take Peril Dice Wounds, ignoring defence, and you must discard one item, Sideback Token or Dark Stone, lost to the Murky Depths. Oof. So, that is everybody doing it. Just <coughs> more, more to avoid okay, so getting we, creepered. We will do that first. Uh, my Minecraft creepers are into water. I think these are like a plant. I got a 5 or 4. Yeah. You're fine. Plus. You need 10 XP. 10 XP. <laughs> hey, I passed that. Don't speak. Thank you. Okay, so now Raven to see if they get caught by this creeper plant. Uh, they have three agility. Yeah, we're going to get four more. Six, six, Many five. sixes. If you rolled at least one six during this test and you're rushing in the water because there's a half eaten cadaver to float, so it's take three horror hits. So three willpower saves versus horror. Uh, one can save, two knots. That'd be two sanity. Unless you want to grit to reroll. Uh, what's the. What's the. the cadaver? Cadaver. It's a corpse of a person. Dead body. Dead body. So you just found a half eaten dead body float to the surface. That had been previously grabbed by the creeper plant. 
But it's got a loop card. But it's a bit scary because you have dead body most of the service. Two sanity down. It's a dead snack. Could be a dead snack. Could be. Most likely a dead snack. Yeah. But you do get the loop card. What's this? It's an artifact. I gained 20 XP. I think it's a gear card because you're in another world. But yeah, what's this? It's a gear card. Oop, we will get the gear. And you get one. This is where I break my back. Is there so many gear cards? Yeah. of those tabs is gear. I just don't know which one. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! That's a hefty <laughs> stack! Right, I'm going to cut it for you. I'm going to go to there. Do you want me to go any further down? No, we're going to go with that one. She wanted... Tradian leaders? Well, let's have a look. Tra Is it a wanted poster? It's a wanted poster. For <laughs> us! Yeah. Good. What does it say? It says, wanted. Uh, wanted Tradaran invaders. Discard during a fight. Until the end of the adventure, all heroes are plus one damage on their attacks against any Tradaran enemy. Whenever a Shadaran enemy is killed, that hero gains $50, or every hero gains $250 if large size or bigger, or peril dice times 150 if legendary. So if we find a tank from an enemy faction, we're, we're going to get a huge amount. So hold on to that until we go back to Shadara. Yeah, so yeah. hold on to that. There's a wanted poster for, for, I don't for know. us. For us. Yeah. We found the wanted poster for us. But we can cash it in for not as us. Not as us, us, correct. Yeah. There you go, that is your... That's a not a bad loot card, tell you a bit bad gear card, though. We, like, can, right. we can dress up in the dead bodies of the snake men and turn it in. Yeah, exactly. This is a wanted, it's a wanted poster from Gigano, so it's clearly the snake men have put out a wanted poster for yeah. Gigano. For us! For us. Probably because we murdered a bunch of them. Yeah. And made them into snakes alive. So, that was Raven. So, yeah, Simon, free, free agility. Uh, two agility. Two agility. Two agility for Simon. Pass. Yes. For no six. And then three for me, see if I get dragged in by the creeper plants. Uh, no. You go and you break. Probably got a six. So I take three horror hits. So could you roll three dice for my horror hits? So I have my blood bar is fours. So I will take uh, two sanity damage, please. But I also will get a loot card. <laughs> Imagine if you get the same thing. Wanted poker. Perfect <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. We, we, no, that one's forged by us. <laughs> Bite them. Oh, yeah. Up. Coins. I get $25. And 30 um, XP. Uh, and 30 XP, yeah. $25, 30 XP. I'm and the me. only one with just 10 coins. Just have 10. I'm poor. Thank you very much. Right. I think that's it for that, isn't it? That's all. Um, we should be, I think, one further down. Should we be one further down on the room? Uh, right? How many we've rooms have we put down? So we've got, there was two of them oh, yeah, yeah. not to be four, so we're five rooms in. Yeah, yeah we're there. We're there. Right. Okay. Crashing through the vegetation, the team come across another hall of resources. But although the snake people are content to just watch, all the commotion has drawn the attention of the local wildlife. Whilst poking through the jungle, they are suddenly waylaid by giant monstrous creatures. So, it's hold back. Hold back nice, it is. Yep. Let's hope I can do this. It's past the creeper plant. And no. it doesn't help us. It oh, it's a growing up. dread. A growing dread. <laughs> dread. So we get the growing dread. And one of those gets added to the snack. Will we ever reveal that fighting person? Or is that only when I roll? That's when, if you keep rolling badly, it'll, it's when it crosses into the upper... Oh. Into this pile. Yeah. So it's almost to add another growing dread to the stack. I think we already got one somewhere. Yeah, this one. Um, uh, does it uh, does it stay face down? Just, uh, we should have one, which we didn't possibly draw after all the talking about whether we should or we shouldn't. So let's have face down one, and let's have another face. 
There we go. Two face down, growing dreads. Okay. So I've got two. We usually stack them next to the deck rack. So there's two stacked up. Okay. Also, because we moved over there, if you look at the Valley of the Kings, I think something happens when you move over. Uh, when a hero party marker crosses into a new stage ah. on the depth right, every hero it's a corruption it's hit. Us, so it's when we go that way. Okay, cool. So, okay. As in the next room that we get to. Next room we get to. Something bad happens to you, but something good happens to me. Alright. Okay. Uh, uh, so that was talking about the darkness and failing. So, initiatives. Wait for me! Uh, strike. Oh, yeah. Strike, yeah. Who's going to get strike? You're on next, aren't you? Yeah. Simon! Simon gets a strike. Thank you. I'm a little less squishy now. Okay, so, initiatives with Sparky. Two. So, um, we have to move two spe steps backwards. Backwards? Really? Yeah, to wait for you. <laughs> we don't have to. No, you go forwards, because there's nothing. If you move there, then. Oh, um, yeah, 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 good point. No, you Yeah, so I to. move backwards. Yeah, no, you can stay there. You can go there, that's fine. Yeah, and then when. Uh, Raven moves, Raven will move back the way, so I'll yeah. be able to move back. Do you want to scavenge either of those rooms? I think they've both got scavenged. Yeah, I'll scavenge. Um, didn't we fail the last one in that thing? You're going to make me start, yeah. putting, you're going to make me start putting the scavenge tokens down. <laughs> if, <laughs> if it one was, that, uh, I'm quite happy if you've got scavenge tokens, I'll quite happily deploy them. No, I think, I think we're okay, so we've yeah. got one there and two in there. Yeah. So. yeah fail matter. anyway. Fail anyway. So, Raven to move. Six! Bye, guys! I mean, you can go and look through the next room if you want. Boink. Boink. Okay, so <laughs> you get to choose. We get five XP for looking through. Spider hole! Spider hole. Oh, yeah, totally settling. Nice. So, you. Um. Okay, we're going to have to rotate it from its original because I don't think it's going to fit in its original orientation. It may, it may. Ah! Uh, so it's a spider hole. No, it's spiders. Oh, and there is... Yeah. If we're playing advanced, there'd be a big spider. <laughs> there is going to be a spider. Oh, no, it might fit. Yeah. Where does it go? No, it goes... It goes like that, which it's not going to fit. It's not going to fit like that. Well, the room's link. Like, they actually link as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. They actually, well, actually link. link. <laughs> you know what, let's do that. The wall not? of vines! <laughs> the odds of that actually happening are so slim. It was a wall of vines that you saw from the other side. And, and you went, wait a minute. And then wait, you machete them. Don't cut! And you just machete them. Short. And you just machete Wow! Shane says it's a short cut. Wow, that, that, that never happened. <laughs> Shortcut, 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 shortcut. It means I'm now the furthest away from anything. Yep. That was hilarious. Yeah. It's a swampy trail that goes all the way around itself. Right then. So there is an ominous hole. Which means you can go in any of these rooms and you'll be the same distance away from me. Yeah. So that was that was Raven. We get an exploration marker. Yeah. So it's then me. Could you roll for my move, please? As I'll take the shortcut through this hacking through these vines with right. my knife. With your tiny knife. Tiny knife. At least I've got a knife. Yeah, I don't have a knife. I uh, there's still scavenging. One left. So can I scavenge that room, please, behind me? Got it. Scavenging before I leave. Nope. Okay. So uh, it's on. roll for me to move. <laughs> Doesn't really matter, does it? Uh, I'll go there and I'll scab into that, uh, that room. You will. Yeah. Ugh. Three dice. <laughs> what did you find, Simon? What you? Oh, I'm fine. Ball. I think that room's had like all the hideous discoveries in that room. Yeah. It's the same thing that we keep going and looking up, and no one talks about it, so everyone keeps going. No, I'm finding it. Finding it. No, I, no, no, you guys have all seen um, it, and I'm if, just sat here like, what have you guys if, seen? XP wise, does anybody have anything that we can um, Trade in convert here. down? Yeah, I've got, I've got a 50 there. Oh, uh, could you also do me a willpower roll? I realised I took a wrong um, hit when I got back. Uh, I could do a few 25s. 
Yeah. It's so oh, frickly, sorry, but sorry. I'll... Yeah, yeah. Here is 20. Can you give me a 50? Right, is that 50? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, it's 50. 50. That's 50. That's 50 for you. Thanks. I'm at uh, 150 now. Yeah. yeah. That's 50. So 50. And 25. And 25, so there's 25. And, and there's a 15. 10. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, could you do me a willpower save, please? Because I would have taken a corruption hit when I got my grip back because of their eyes in the dark. How many? Just one. Did I take a corruption? No, I didn't. That was fine. Okay. Right. So that's everyone done this turn, isn't it, I think? Yeah. Yes, now. That was, that was hilarious. How okay. itched a wall of vines. Oh. So, loads of encounters. A clue. Which means I get D3 strike, but I'm on full strike. So. Oh, yeah, we also, the room transitions one further down. So oh, so we'll cross do that. that as well, Ian. Which means? So we need two encounters, so one from Sparky, okay. and one from Raven, in the border. This, this may, um, stage. Oh. This may be, yeah, this, no, so this. We're not doing it yet, so put there. We'll wrap them up in order, and then there. Right. Okay, then, what was it we have to do when we transfer over? Uh, we move up, uh, every hero takes one corruption hit. Ignoring. Okay, so, um, Sparky. Sparky takes a corruption. Raven. Does not. Jonas. Does. Simon. Does. Does. I'm the only one who didn't take the corruption. You weren't. However, I now also. Uh, when the hero party moves into a new state of the death track, draw a Tradaran team ability card to add full. So please roll a d6 to find out what flavour. Five. A it's special flavour. Not special flavour. Are these meant to be in a pool? Yeah, in theory, yes. Because they, we, can, any one of us, they can be used by us at any time. But yeah, it's like yeah, I, I kind of think if you drew it, you'd probably no, fair enough. The person. Right, so that's the normal ones. Ones. Uh, I'm trying to remember which ones are not which. In the Republic, these ones, right? These are the. These are uh, those. So I get one of those. I love Fluffy. I was an actually able to see what we want. So I get Terror Troops play at any time. All Republic heroes may re-roll their damage rolls during their next activation. Oh. Good. Was that? Uh, I think that's it. Right now, work through the encounters. Then we do the clue. So we work through the encounters, and we pick up the gear card that we dropped on the floor somewhere. Mm -hmm. One next to your foot. Just there. Yes, you're pretty mm -hmm. on it. There we go. Right. So we work through the encounters. So we're going to I'm going to hold. A large and forebodingly dark hole sits in the far wall of the room, beckoning you to shine your lantern's light inside. Choose! Either somebody looks in the hole, and they get to roll a d6 and some stuff may happen. Or we all ignore it, in which case we all basically have to make luck rolls. We might be ambushed by something coming out. Okay, so someone makes a strength roll, or we all make luck rolls? Well, it depends. It's like, on a one or a two, you make a strength roll and take two to six wounds if you fail, or three to four, it could be a bunch of hell bats coming out, or five or six, you draw an artifact. So I have to roll a d6? Well, it depends. Is someone going to look in the hole? Anybody going to volunteer to look in that hole? Me. It's strength. Well, what is it, a strength? It's strength. It no, it depends what you roll on the dice. It might all be right. a strength check, or it could be hell bats, or it could be an artifact. Okay, is anybody going to look for the hole? Me. You're going to look in the hole right now. You're going to look in the hole right now. You roll a d6. Now we've decided Raven looks in the hole. Four. Four hellbats. So, ambush attack, peril, dice, or hellbats. Please go, maybe three. Three. Three hellbats come out of the hole. Right, we'll put them in a moment. Next one. The Serpent King's Decree. This area seems to be swarming with serpentmen more so than usual. It seems to be a sacred area full of relics. Okay and they are searching for intruders. Perhaps they know you're here. You'll need to be careful if you want to avoid being spotted. This map tile and adjacent map tiles are a search area for the Serpentman. A hero in the search area may draw a loot card for any nothing here scavenger card they draw. 
Yay! However, any time a hero starts in their activation in the search area, roll a natural six for the movement, also move the darkness forward one space on the depth track. Right, okay. Okay. <laughs> Shadow or Beast, you duck behind a large stone ruin as a terrifying screech echoes through the sky. As you look up, a massive winged shadow sweeps over you, just over there. You see a fearsome reptilian creature soar overhead. It's looking for something, or someone. So we all have to make an agility four or more. I'll do Sparky's first. Yeah. Five. So I have six. Um... So you pass, so you get 10 XP. But you <laughs> rolled a one, so that it moves, the hero marker moves one space forward on the deck. So that's fine. So 10 XP, you passed. Raven? It's four, passed. Five, five, three. So two dice for you, Simon. Because Tyler Simon only doesn't agility. Two. It's a fail and a one. Um, what happens on a fail? Uh, on a fail is if any hero failed this test, there's an ambush attack. Right, okay. I'm going to get an, there's an extra dice. Can you roll an extra dice? Extra dice. I'm using strike. No, no, that's it. Is that it? I, I've got nothing else to we're, give. We're, we're done. Uh, okay, so giant we're giant dragon. No, we get the thing. It might not be the giant reptilian monster. Does that move two more on? Uh, and that was two ones. So yeah. Uh, if any, so just one on. So one. one. Right. Okay. And then three dice for my agility. Let's just hope there's no. Pass. We get ten XP, but I also move us further one down the depth. Thank, thank you, Raymond. I'm sorry. So there we what go. What we get near down? So we're going to get Nothing. three Hellbats plus our first actual genuine legitimate prep card. I'm just going to keep asking. Who wants to draw the prep card? Oh, please. Right, roll between you two because you're both very keen for the actual prep Evens. Card. Okay. Giant stack of prep cards. Reveals. This is an ambush from... Young Swamp Prepter. Okay. Young Swap, we're going to pause for a moment whilst I go and get that. Okay, right, so we're back with some models. Uh, so, yes, we have Peril Dice. Sorry, no, yeah, the, the, the three Hell Bats. They're pretty easy. We've got theirs out. They explode. I'm just going to chuck a grenade, probably it'll kill them. We then have a Young Swamp Raptor, which apparently is uh, brightly coloured young swamp actors are more agile and aggressive hunters than when fully grown, but they lack the skill and bulk of their older brethren. So it's a swamp raptor with plus one initiative, but its melee goes down to four or more rather than three or more, and its health is only 25 plus five health per hero. 25 plus 20. So it's only health 45. Oh, and it's immune to critical hits. And it's immune to critical hits. And it's has extra initiative and all kinds of stuff from ambush. But anyway, the next one is when the third and fourth clues are revealed, in addition to any other elements of the exploration track, reveal all growing dread cards in the stack, and then the heroes must face a threat that is one threat level higher than normal. So we're going to face high level threats as well as all of this. So, first of all, we reveal the growing dread stacks. Mm -hmm. So, this one is Powerful Dread. It takes all of your willpower to not simply turn and flee at the sight before you. Every hero has to make a single willpower save. For each failed save, move the darkness two steps forward on the depth track. This could I not go that. well. It's really terrible. Can I... Uh... You can... You press flower? Yeah. Press flowered. So you can only do that once then, can't you? Yeah. yeah. So we're going to take this these... one, whatever this is. The Depths of Dread. The bottomless Depths of Dread open before you stare at the inky black abyss. The darkness moves forward one step on the depth track. If this moves it onto a blood splatter or a growing dread space, immediately add DP growing dread cards to it. It doesn't, so we're okay. Right. That was the good use of the. Uh... That was those done. Yeah, you've got those in the right order. That's those done for the moment. Right, we then need to have a, a high level threat from the other world threat deck. No good choose? The high level threat to add to all this nonsense is. A wild crocs and beast. Okay. <laughs> a wild crocs and beast. So, some crocs and beasts are too wild and too vicious, even for the serpent men to control. Living in the shady mud pit hollows around the valley, they tend to be darker and more lean. 
Oh, control the red. Wild Crocs and Beast is plus two combat, only melee to hit five and one, half its normal health rounded up. Its spike tail ability now also plus one combat. Okay. Okay. It is the same for all number of heroes. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's got a Crocs and Beast. Just here. Is it big two? Oh. Oh, it's big two. It's a big Crocs and Beast too. Is that a four by well, two it's by a two? Two by two, yep. Yeah. Uh, I'll get the Crocs and Beast stand. Where are they going to stand? On us. Oh, so we're going to get this. shoved out of the way. So did like the Hellbats just trigger like this giant high-pitched screech and then these guys just yeah. plod, plodded in and this smacked is, us out of the way? This is why I thought it would be a good idea to withdraw after yeah, the last... No, I'm regretting all the choices. too late now, so... How are we going to kill it and what is the Crocs and Beast? Or maybe you should listen to me. And Simon and Simon. So it's 20 health plus 5 per hero, so how Would much? 40 45. But it's half, so it's 20. So it's 20. Right. Hmm. Get so 20, it's a little bit easier to deal with. 20. 45. Like and um, these are ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, so. Oh, and these are immune to criticals. So the lowest is, yeah, mm. is the crocs of this, so that goes at the back. So we have a crocs and beast. Oh, it's, it's, it's tail has disappeared through the door. Yeah, it's going like that there. The next initiative is... Uh, oh, actually they're tied because that's plus one. Yeah, okay. So get that out of the way. So we'll have... Put the bigger one in first. There's that one. They don't have anything that lets them move through other things to do it. They just push you out of the way. Oh, they just, they, they, they have so shield. Blind, that just pushes you out of the way. Yeah. Like, okay, so what I'm seeing it's is... It's purely horrific, because they're all going to go before us. <coughs> yeah, what I'm seeing is that is I the mean... the Crocs Beast ambushing us? No, the Crocs and Beast is the one thing that is not ambushing right, us. Right, okay, so... Which um... means I go before it. Yes. Okay, so we have a brief respite. <laughs> right then. It is in my turn. Oh, but I'm all the way over there! Oh, don't worry, they'll get all the way over to you. And that's where we'll leave our team for now. Join us next session, where unbeknownst to the team, yet more creatures will hunt them down whilst they fend off the current attackers. We shall see if Tarkon training and Dredaran technology can best the dangerous fauna of Jagano. And later we'll see what occurs at camp. Thanks for watching this session.